Hi, my name is Summer. I'm from the Parlor Salon in downtown Chicago, and today I'm going to be showing you how to incorporate braids into your fun summer fashion. So, first I'm going to start off with uh, product number six by Davines. It's a kind of like a matte paste, and it's shiny. And what it'll do is help to keep those flyaways from getting too crazy when you're braiding your hair, because sometimes it's hard, especially with the little baby hairs in the front. You can kind of just comb it through at the beginning. If you get too much, that's okay. You don't want it to look too greasy. You don't want to take the braid down too far because you might lose some of the hair along the face, face line. So you can kind of stop once you get to the part, right about to your temple, and you can start to just braid it back. So that way you can pin it and it will lay on top of the hair and the rest of the style. Depending on how long your hair is or how much braid you want, you can just stop when you run out of hair or you can just stop at whatever point. I'm going to keep going just so I can see how far back it will go. And when I'm done, you can take your clip out, let your hair fall down, take your bobby pin, and pin it in. Put your hair over it so you don't see the bobby pin, and there's your braid. Another way that you can incorporate braids into your hair is if you're kind of feeling the hippie vibe, you can put braids on both sides of your hair and pin them back to make it look like you got that hippie band on your head. So first you'd start the same way you would with the other braid, where you take the wax and you pin down the little flyaways. Then, when you start with your braid, you don't necessarily have to do the French braid on the top. You can just start with the braid. Again, you can use a little bit less hair, so maybe a half an inch section. If your hair is frustrating, you can pin it back. Just like that. You take the braid in the front and you start the braid. Now when you're done, you take the one braid and you just pin it back. As you can see, this is one side. Now the thickness of your braid is dependent on you. If you want your braid a little bit thicker, you can make it thicker. Then you take the other side and do the same steps. So to maintain your style throughout the evening, you can use a little bit of the number 9 hairspray. Spray it on. You can spray it through the rest of your hair too, and it smells good. So now you have the finished product, having you looking hippie friendly with your hairspray and your wax, and you look beautiful for the rest of the evening. So now I'm going to show you how to make a headband out of a braid. First, you're going to section off the bangs to make sure that you leave enough on the face, because you don't want to be taking off the face because we're not trying to take the bangs back. So, as you can see, all her bangs are forward, and depending on how much hair you have, you can make a big section or a little section, depending on how big you want the headband. Janine has a lot of hair, and she has long hair, so I'm going to take a pretty big section. Then you can pin the hair back so it doesn't get in the way, and then you just proceed to make a normal braid. So now that I've finished braiding the hair, I'm going to take the clip down and make sure that her hair falls naturally because you don't want to overlap too much of the hair because then it will start to pull the hair back too far. So as you can see, her hair is laying naturally and her braid is still here. Now you can pull it over and you can place it like so and pin the hair back on the side, on the other side the same way that you did on the first side that you braided the hair. Now that I've finished with the first braid, I'm going to braid on the other side so she has a double headband. So I'm going to take the same amount of hair on the other side, leaving hair in the front, and I'm going to braid as I did on the other side. So after you've finished braiding the other side, again let the hair fall naturally so you don't have too much overlap. And then when you're done with that, bring it over to the other side and you pin it in the same place as the first braid is. You can even put it into the braid so that way the braid will stay. So when you're finished, you have a double braided headband, as you can see, and you can place it anywhere on the hair that you like. 
just so long as you make sure that the bottom parts are hidden. And when you're done, just spray, keep it in. If you feel like you need to, you can double bobby pin to make sure that it stays in. If she's got long enough hair, it might stay itself, so. And then you're done, beautiful, as always. Another way to incorporate a braid into the hair is for you to just have a hanging braid. And most people do the braids, they put little rubber bands on the bottom and that kind of looks tacky. So if you feel like you can braid your hair and you don't want a rubber band, there's another way to do it. So you take the hair on the top, or wherever you like it, and you braid it like you normally would. You can take about an inch section. It's usually better to do a bigger one so it'll show up better. So after you finish the braid, a trick I learned to maintain it for the rest of the evening is if you spray it, get it damp, and then I'm going to use the number 9 hairspray because it's strong, and you spray it right in the spot where you got it wet, and you let it dry, and so long as you don't comb through it for the rest of the evening, it will stay just like that. And now you have all your braids.